So do you know about the Golden Girls? Yes, love those sweet old ladies. Yeah, well they're not sweet old ladies. They actually run a drug cartel, Brandy. I don't remember that. Yeah, well you have to look in between the lines. Yeah. So do you have a favorite character in Golden Girls? Yes, mm. Rose. Ah, oh, Rose, played by good old Betty White. Mm -hmm. Miss you. But Rose is from a small farming town in Minnesota and loves to talk about her upbringing in that small little town. So Rose gets married, she has five children, but sadly her husband passes away and she moves to Miami. Oh, I know. What a dream to move to the big city, you know? Yeah. It would be a dream if she didn't actually kill her husband. Rose decides to move from St. Olaf, Minnesota to Miami. And I don't know if this is supposedly a way for her to save money, but it seems like she would have had a lot of extra cash lying around if she killed her husband. I mean, that's tons of insurance money. So why do you need to move all the way to a different state unless there's something there waiting for you? So she moved to Florida for, for drugs? Yes, well, to sell them. Oh. Okay, got it. Yeah, not to do them. Oh my God, no. no. Yeah. Just to sell them to all the rich people that live there. All of those golden girls are in on it. Blanche, played by Rue McClanahan, is a Southern belle from like a rich family. She lived in Georgia, had a bunch of kids, got married, and her husband died too. So she made her way to Miami. Didn't she have that plantation in Georgia? Yes but it wasn't selling what you think they would normally be selling. They're actually selling a little bit of... Drugs? Mm-hmm. Oh my God. I know. Old lady selling drugs? Never heard of it. So Blanche decides to move to Miami because what better place to sell her wares than where all the good money is at? Also, her character works as an art dealer, rich people, love to buy art, and rich people love to buy drugs. It's just a fact. It's true. Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't know, because I'm not rich, but... No. If I were... Oh. Oh, man. Oh, you better <laughs> believe. <laughs> Our next character is Dorothy, played by B. Arthur, and this character is from Brooklyn, New York, and in high school, she becomes pregnant, and marries the man who she got pregnant with to like legitimize the pregnancy. Dorothy's character is known as being like the blunt, like dry mm -hmm. humor, sarcastic, take no kind of gal. Rose is who I am, Dorothy is who I strive to be. Absolutely. So the last of the Golden Girls is Sophia. And Sophia moved to New York City from Sicily, which is where like all of the Italian drug lords and mobsters were starting out. True. But she escapes because she's supposed to be in an arranged marriage and she's like, mm -mm, no thank you. So she dips. But then once Sophia starts to go to a nursing home, it surprisingly burns down and no one knows why. After the nursing home burns down, she decides to move her happy little butt to Miami with the rest of the girls. And do you wanna know why? It's cause they were trying to get the cops off her trail. They were trying, it was just like a decoy. They're like, oh, they're gonna find her in this nursing home and they're gonna arrest her. But they can't because she decided to drive all the way down to Florida. <laughs> and one of the like main character traits of Sophia is that she's really good at cooking. Oh yeah, she had like that um, pasta recipe, like the best pasta sauce recipe, right? Yeah, yeah that's not what she was cooking. Was it like a stew mm. or? Honey, she was cooking, making, <gasps> yeah. Drinks. Oh my God, wait, do you remember the theme song? Of course I do. Yes. Thank you for being a friend. Ooh, yeah. Travel down the road and back again. Stop, that, exactly. Traveling down the road and back again, they gotta go up and down the coast to push these drugs, okay? Okay, that's not how I interpreted it, but mm. I, well, I get it. Yeah, okay, I next line, next line. Your heart is true, you're a pal and a confidant. Okay, and that's the other thing. See, you can't just let anybody in on this, you know, drug ring, right? You gotta have trust, you gotta build a bond with right. these women. You're a confidant, you know? Whoa. Yeah, if someone's gonna come after you, these ladies have your back. I've been singing this song since I was a kid. Yeah. 
Little did I know it's about drugs. Oh, and at the very end of the song, I'll, I'll just read it for you. Okay. And if you threw a party, invited everyone you knew, you would see the biggest gift from me, and the card attached would say, thank you for being a friend. So do you know how much money a person would have to have to assure that if people were like throwing a party and everyone they know is invited, the biggest gift would be from them? And they never say what's inside the gift that they give. And you know what that is? You know what's inside? Cocaine. Cocaine. Exactly what I was I was thinking. Yeah. Wow. I know. They would have been more specific I in wish the song. They would have. You know, I gotta say, I believe you. I knew it. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. These ladies. This is what's really going on. <laughs> I think if Betty White was still here, she would love this. Approve of this. She'd for be like, sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That tracks. Mm-hmm. Oh. Miss you, Queen. So what do y'all think? Do you think that the Golden Girls are really running a cartel? I mean, did you notice when you were younger watching this? Because I know I didn't. Me either. Mm-hmm. And I gotta say, we should rewatch them. Absolutely. And look out for these hints. Yeah, I think if I watch it with these eyes now, a lot of things will click a little bit more. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's go do that. Okay. Well, I'm Sarah. And I'm Brandy. And this was Conspiracy Central.